guys, today we are going to be setting up Tanner's new enclosure that we built in the last video. So we're going to be going to Home Depot to get some plants, substrate, and anything else we can find. So I'll see you there. I don't know what my tortoise can eat, so I just look on my phone at if the plants are toxic or safe. And I just see if they can eat it, I'll get it and see if he can eat it. I think I'm going to go with this garden soil organic just because it's $6.97, much cheaper than Reptibark, which is 20 bucks. And this stuff doesn't have fertilizer in it, so I think I'm mainly going to use this for a substrate. These three plants I think I'm going to go with. This one is a Creeping Jenny. That is a scientific word right there. And it's only $3.98. This one is another annual. It's the Mexican Heather scientific word and that one's only 248 and this one is a I cannot pronounce that but it's only 398 looking in the seeds and I think I might get cracked cat grass it is safe to feed so I think I'm just gonna put this like a little bit on the top and some on the bottom I think this is gonna be something good to do since Tanner's enclosure is much bigger now, I just got this pressurized spray bottle. I guess it would be just much easier than having to keep spraying with my little bottle. And this was very cheap. It was only, I think, $10 for this. So it was actually a good deal and it's much easier. So we just got from Home Depot and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna set up Tanner's new enclosure. We have Repti Bark, we have uh, garden soil and we have some cypress mulch right there and then we have our one two three five plants we have this type of a flower it looks like a dandelion and then we have some cat grass so i'm going to put the garden soil on bottom so the plants can go in and put the raptor bark on top like some places on so you can see how it looks cat grass i might just plant it on top just so he can walk up and that could be his whole flower section. Um, aloe vera and this plant, I have no clue what it's called, but that's going to go on top. This plant, this, and that might go on the bottom by his ramp so he can walk up and just so it'll look better. So my first step to doing the tortoise enclosure is get this moisture barrier. And I'm going to put this on the bottom of his enclosure just so water doesn't soak into the boards. I got this from when I was redoing my room. I was putting wood floor. I just put that and then, so, and then I'm just going to put this right on bottom of his enclosure just so it'll just prevent water from soaking in and rotting out the board. So this is his enclosure. Um, last week we like stained and sealed it and now we're just we waited a while, all the fumes are out. Now I'm just gonna put this in and then get it cut the right size so it'll fit. this is the top it's all done we got it the sides are done we just cut it that way that goes down so now we're going to get to the bottom floor and get all of this i don't think we're going to worry about down there because no plants are going so it's just going to be this going to get covered and we um just kept it up in there just because we didn't need to cut it so I thought it would just be perfect if we had some back here and then we have this right here we had we, ha we had an extra strip so I think I'm just gonna put that here and this doesn't matter because no plants are going here we're just gonna put plants one two and then have some up here like the aloe vera and the hanging plants so hang down so here are my three substrates. I have my organic garden soil, 
That's just for my plants to go in. I have my Rupti Bark and my Organic Cypress Mulch, which my Cypress Mulch is gonna go under there for his hide. Garden sore for plants to go in and Rupti Bark just over, like I said. So we're gonna start doing that and we're gonna see how it'll come out. So I'm gonna use this first and just grab it and put it under his hide. This is the organic cypress mulch. I just put about that much, that ought to be good. And then just kind of spread it around. So once we have our cypress mulch down there, we're gonna put organic garden soil all up in here, a lot down there, but we're gonna start up here. Let's see, I'm gonna do this. So once um, I start pouring all that in here, I think this ought to be good. I might just add a little bit more, that way plants have room to actually fit down. So I might just have a few more scoops just later on, but I might start down there now and just pour it. I think the easiest way would just cut all the way down and just pour it. That would make it much easier. I'm just gonna dump it over. So I'm just gonna start breaking stuff down and just spreading it. Of dirt and half of this dirt I'm just gonna put up there all right It ought to be good. Now I'll just add my repti bark to some places all down here. I got to thinking instead of doing my repti bark, I should just do my plants right now. Repti bark, I think, is going to do the last step because I didn't want uh, the dirt to be over the bark. So I think I'm going to start with putting my plants right here first, then go up there. So that means I'll put that like right there and. Um, Let's see which one, another one. I think this one and this one down here, maybe that one, like that, and right there. These three can be on top, maybe my aloe vera, that back corner. The one that kind of hangs over could be like right up in here. One right here that maybe would grow and hang right there. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. So I'll start taking these out and planting them right here. So I got to thinking, and this is the taller one, so that should just go here. So I'm gonna take this one out and plant it right here. So first, let me kind of move the dirt like right there. All right. Now let me kind of break the roots up. So I'm gonna keep it like this and just kinda put this and put dirt all around it. I 
So I got this one all dug, got that nice, and I have this hole prepared for this one to go in. So I'm just gonna take this out and put that in here and do the same thing I did to this one. So I was gonna put this plant right here, but I just decided to put all this right here so one day he can't just get on top of it and climb out. So the aloe vera is gonna go in this corner because it can get big right there. This, my mom said it hangs down. So I would like what that would hang down right here. This one, I think just grows big. It'll kind of overlap all of this. And if it starts getting in this, I can just cut the plant little and put it in this food dish. So right here, that plant, and then the aloe vera there. So I got this one out of the box. I'm gonna plant this one right here. All right, that ought to be good here. And next I might do the aloe vera, put this in. So now I'm gonna take the aloe vera out. Dig me a hole right here. All right, so that should be good. And th they put fertilizer in here, so I'm just gonna pick all the fertilizer out just so Tanner doesn't eat it. Right, and I'll find some more as I get this one. Alright, I'm putting this one in. Alright, I'll get that one in a little better. Just So I was going to grow these, this yellow plant up here, but... I've seen that there was so much of these white fertilizer um, like foam balls. So I'm like, I'm just going to grow this like either in a pot or in my yard. And then transplant it once they get grown. Put them in here. So I just decided not to put that because he might just eat these. And then he might get sick. Or, so. so now I have cat grass. That's what, I will put, that's what I'll put up here. I'm not going to put it down there because that's where his food, repti bark, is going to go. So I'll just sprinkle all that up in here and then see if it'll grow good. So I'm just going to tear it. And then the seeds are just like a yellowish brownish color. Sprinkle all of it. Now I'm just going to like mix it up, that way it kind of gets under, the dirt gets over it. And then we're going to wait a while and see if it will grow. Alright, that ought to be good. I'll get as much as I can later, but I might, yeah, I might just do some more later. That ought to be good. So now I'm just going to cut the bag and start pouring it all right here. Like, and then I'm going to leave a s spot. Well, actually, I just do it all because that's where his food dish is going to go. But I just put the food dish on top. I'm not going to worry about putting it up there because that's just all the plants. So, and if I have extra, well, I'm not going to have extra because I'm just going to just use it all. So I just get the scissors and cut it and start pouring it. Repti bark. This is what it looks like if you've never bought it before. It's just like tree bark. And so now I'm just going to pour it in on top of the dirt. Wait, I'm going to 
gonna start from here and just see what I can get. So now I'm gonna add my food dish. I might put that like right here. I'm gonna clean that off later. I might, later on, I might even just take the repti bark off under it and keep the dirt on top. I'll just play around with it, but for now, I think I'm just gonna keep it like this. See how that'll come out? Put his food right there. And really, this is my finished look of his enclosure. I have my plants. I have my organic soil, my repti bark, food dish. I think that's it. Hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned for my future videos coming out. They're going to be really good. So, bye. Go, Tanner. Wanna eat, Tanner? Gonna eat?